Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my FIFA 15 career mode series with Newcastle United. I'm It's the Mayor RGHD. Sorry, um, yeah, sorry I've been away for a bit. I've had real life, well, not real life, obviously real life, but just had a lot of work going on and that. So yeah, and here I am back. So, in our first game will be against Crystal Palace, and Schmeichel, as you saw, has just gone to Aston Villa. And also, Sissouko has returned from his injury. So, yeah, let's get this game underway. So, yeah, hopefully we can get the three points here. Realistically, I'd imagine this would be the kind of game we would get the three points from. There you go. It's like pretty standard lineup, pretty much the same as what I used in my last game against Villa. So yeah, overall I'm pretty confident with this team. And as you can see in a couple of seconds or so, we will have the Crystal Palace team. So yeah, nice to see um, Kevin Doyle and Adrian Mariapa in the team as they used to play for my local team, which is Reading. Unfortunately, Shamax in the team, but doesn't bother me. But yeah, here we go. Ozzy Cup plays a brilliant ball through into Cissé, who absolutely skins the defender. One -on -one, well, not one-on-one, -on -one, and yeah, pretty feeble shot, to be honest. But yeah, so here we are. Shamax going forward, and like me, unable to tackle him because I'm that bad at FIFA. Plays up to Bannon. He plays it back to Martin Kelly, who skins my defender and takes it in, crosses it in, and punched out by Tim Krull. But doesn't go very far. The QPR kept the ball and just knocking it about, like not really making much use of it until like roughly now. And here we go. And Cissé gets absolutely scythed down by Yednak, who, as you can see, has just received a red card for his troubles. And I mean, as you, well, you saw he didn't even have the ball, and here's the replay of it. I mean, this is an absolutely cynical challenge. Deserved, yeah, it deserved to get the red card for that, so let's see if I can capitalise on it. So yeah, down to Ozzy Cup. Beats the defender and shoots, and very good save from Spironi, and I couldn't keep it in. Is that Ozzy Cup again? Cissé. Going into the box. Shoots and straight at the goalkeeper again. Okay, second half now. We've got Tiote holding the ball up, waiting for support. Not much coming. Could have passed to Cissé, but didn't. He shoots and saved. Saved by Spironi. And yeah, they clear. Here we go, start the attack in with Yamat passing to Ozzy Cup. Beats the defence, shoots and straight at the goalkeeper. So Dave throws in the Gufran. Tiosio hits it and there we go, 1 0 Newcastle. I mean, as you can see, it comes, it goes in off the defender, but at the end of the day, they all count. Obviously, it's annoying for them, but. Hey, that's football and that's how it goes. So, yeah, 1 0 Newcastle. So, punching, still on the ball. I mean, just jockeying him and screw up. And well cleared by Krull. Here you go, Martin Kelly. Launches it in. And can Crystal Palace do anything with it? Well, poor clearance from me. And yeah, yards wide. Yeah, Dave through to Cabela. And why didn't I just cut in there? I don't know, but I decided to do that. And over to Ozzy Cook. Can he score? No. Yeah. I have to score with Ozzy Cook soon. It's like the re I brought him in to scoring those kind of chances, and he's just, well, having shots like that. And yeah. But there we go, that's the end of this match. We win 1-0. Another three points on the board. 
And yeah, as you can see, we've got a lo uh, an offer for Rolando Aarons. And I chose, uh, from Nottingham Forest, and I chose to um, accept this offer. So we've loaned him out. Hopefully he'll get some first team football there. Um, yeah. And yeah, there's now an offer for Cisse, which I'm sorry, I'm not going to accept that end at all because I've only got one decent strike left in the team with Cabela uh, Riviere being injured. And another offer for Cisse, which again, I'm not even going to entertain, it's just flat out reject it. And here we have an offer for Colicini. I'm an hour in and like an idiot. I go, oh, what's the dip? Oh, I'll accept it. See what can happen. I mean, at the end of the day, he's been playing bad for me. I can't get on with him. He's 32. So I chose to accept this offer. Forgetting it was an hour into the window. And, um, yeah, nothing comes from it. Because you're not going to get a transfer through in that time. I'm sorry, but you're not. In real life, maybe. In this, No. So here we are in our second game of the episode, this game, episode against Southampton away at St Mary Stadium. So it's nice to play in another new stadium. Very, very strong Southampton team. It's be, it will be difficult, uh, difficult to break down. But considering how bad I played against um, Palace, it will be a tough ask. And here we go. And crosses it in, and nothing comes from it. And Shane Long absolutely mullering me there. Nothing comes from it. So Ozzycup clears out to Cisse. It's him against three defenders, beats one. He's clean through, and then this happens. Yeah. Pick up an injury. So my only other decent striker, Gufran over to Cabela. Can we get a bit of vengeance for Cisse, do you think? And no, straight at the goalkeeper. So it's Nathaniel Klein. Through to Rodriguez. He plays it through to Long and somehow gets the ball to him and Long scores. Terrible defending. For, I mean, Long takes it well, but it's terrible defending from me, to be honest there. I... Still cannot work out how that. Um, I cannot work out how that when it got to Shane Long. To be honest, I mean it goes past two players, but hey ho, it's one 0 Southampton, and good save from Cruel and cleared out by the defender. And Tadic gets tackled, and nothing comes from it. So we're now over to Cabela. Yeah, as you can see, like from the times, nothing really much happened in this first half. It did a little bit of cheeky skill and straight to the goalkeeper again. As Cisse is still carrying a knock. Hopefully, he we he hoping I was hoping he'd shake it off, but um, yeah, he's still carrying it round. And as you can see there, passed it to the wrong person, Ozjukup, and a good save from Fraser Forster there. But yeah, very well struck, but a very good save from the goalkeeper, it has to be said. Okay, so yeah, good friend to take the goal, uh, take the corner. And hoofs it in. And yeah, pretty poor attempt. And Forster takes his time into the second half. And yeah, I had to bring CC off and I brought on De Jong. So, um, yeah, Oji Cup to Cabela. Tiote shoots and trying to emulate the Palace game, but doesn't work out. So, Gufram whips it in. And, yeah, reasonable chance, but goalkeeper is equal to it. And, again, takes his time. Oji Cup has a crack blocked. Cabela hits it. And, yeah. <laughs> but fluke. A sheer fluke of nature, and we're level. 
But no, I'm sorry. This episode is almost fluke sar us, to be honest. It's just fluke. A fluky goal for them, and then this for me. I mean, really, goalkeeper should have done better with it, but no, nah, that, I'm sorry. If you're a goalkeeper, is piss poor. It's De Jong. Rinses the defender. Shoots. And, yeah. Again, good save. Just straight to the goalkeeper. And headed out. Over to De Jong. Him against four defenders. Troy skinning him. Tackled over to Ruiz. He in turn tackled by Tiotto. Freds it through for De Jong. Literally only got the goalkeeper to beat now. And yeah. Blocked by Fonte. How. But yeah, it's like how I haven't won this game. When you, I mean, you've seen the amount of chances I've had and what the chances were. How I haven't done better in this game is beyond me. And Ozzy Cup's now picked up a knock as well, which is fantastic. And yeah, just generally being wasteful. And Schneidlin breaks through, crosses it in, headed out by William, um, Williams at, no, Colicini or whoever it was. And yeah, we draw 1 0. My game against Hull, obviously, you've just seen, got. Rearranged and now Cisse is going to be out for three weeks. So we've got good Scott Dan back and Cisse. Apparently, I didn't really register this email. I stopped on it for a while saying he's come back, but I didn't play him because I'm an idiot. So you can see my team going across the bottom against Brighton. The game I really should win. Um, yeah. To be fair, they, move, they did move the ball around really well in this game, but. I was just like putting challenges like that in all day. So, Kalunga, Sakaguchi just does that, gives the ball straight back to him. The ball to, over to Holler, into Mikael Smith, who breaks free. And yeah, in the fourth minute, we concede a soft goal, and we're now chasing the game at home against Brighton and Hove Albion. Fantastic. Yeah, I just couldn't, cannot tackle at the minute. It's just absolutely dire. And again, it's like another shot from them. So I haven't even had one shot yet, and they've had two. So yeah, here we go with De Jong. Out to Overton. Back to De Jong. So yeah, got acres of space. He's through one on one. And good save from the goalkeeper. Problem is, I trot. I think. It's like I've tried to finesse it. No, I've actually hit that. But. Yeah, good. Keeper didn't know much, but it's a good save from him. And Brighton easily deal with the corner, unfortunately, and they start attempting a break, which is cut out by Cabela. And yeah, so it's a save to Tiote, Ozukup, Overton, and yeah, at least we get a corner at a deal, but yeah, it's. This whole game, though, so far, I've been pretty poor. Over to Yeah. And, yeah, they've now gone on the break. But their own break moves down, and that happens. Okay, so, literally, this game, I was getting more and more and more frustrated in this. I just couldn't do anything. I'm getting chances, like, breaking through this, and not like an idiot, I take it out to hit and shoot. Well, I couldn't do anything. I'm never going to score from that angle. Gives the ball away and now start the second half. So I just decided I was getting so frustrated. I just decided to run at them. And if I'd taken a few more, if I'd gone forward further, maybe I'd have scored. But no, I rushed it and remains one all, uh, one nil to Brighton. So yeah, I brought, I took De Jong off and brought Ferreira on, and it's like it did make a bit of an um, improvement in the team. It's like there was more options seemed to be going forward. And, um, yeah, but also i gone ultra-attacking or all-out attack. I can't remember which one. And, um, yeah. And, again, it's just, as you can see, it's more of the same. So, yeah, we're now gone all-out attack and... Hoping to improve because we're at the hour mark now we're still 1 0 down at home, which is not good. I'm sorry, but that is not good enough. And
and yeah, over to Cabela, and hits the bloody post. But no, nah, it just sums up my game, how I was playing in this game. It was just woeful. And I was your cup, and yeah. It's good to say why Stockdale over to Mikhail Smith. Who threads it for it? I mean, like, taught, split me apart like the Red Sea, and yeah. Yeah. There isn't much I can say about that, really, was there? Got caught on the brakes, torn, like, ripped apart by the pass, and 2 0 to Brighton, unfortunately. But yeah, here we go with Denier. Denier, Denier, or whatever he's called, and yeah, pretty poor effort to Denier again. I mean, he's playing centre back, and he's up in the attacking further the pitch I don't know what's up with that but his body's in the box and yeah again hits it wide so yeah just Brighton now taking their time and I don't know if you can hear but the crowd are booing like mad so yeah out of rare beats the defender can you sh score <laughs> yeah Absolutely piss poor effort, and here we are. Five minutes, just wait, just waiting for the whistle to go. Not going to be able to do anything, and yeah, we've lost two nil at home to Brighton and Hove Albion, and we're out of the Capital One Cup at the very first hurdle. Quite frankly, I deserved the booze for that. I was absolutely diabolical. But I'm It's the Mayor RGHD. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. So, peace out.